Libras, it's Jamie Saber 23. I am doing your June 2019 love spread for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense, sage, um, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy, and lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. Um, so please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, um, what else? Oh, keep in mind that there might be children in the background. For those of you that are, that are watching my videos all the time and you already know this, this message is not for you. This message is for the rude people that write weird things on um, in my comment section about the children. Um, there will always be noise in the background, so this channel might not be not might not be for you. So just don't come back. Um, and then for those of you that tell me, Jamie, don't you think that they're grown and they're smart enough to know whether or not to go back to a channel? No, these, these psychopaths are not smart enough to know that. Otherwise, they would just leave my channel and not write hateful things about my children. But anyway, back to this love reading for June 2019. Okay, so it looks like some of you have a new water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio coming in for the month of June 2019. It looks like this is full of love and romance. It looks like this person, this man or woman, is a very mature person, somebody who knows what they do want. Um, and it looks like you are what they want. Also, if you're cross-watching and you happen to be a, uh, a water sign, maybe this is a Libra that's coming in. That's going to be, you know, very mature, whether it's a man or a woman, and they're going to know what they want. Um, when I say mature, this could be age-wise, or this could be mentally and emotionally. Like, they, they've already sown their wild oats, they've already been through trial and error, now they want to find something more permanent, something long-term, something that's forever. I do see that for some of you, there might be a little bit of um, maybe you distrusting somebody. Could be either um, a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or somebody not trusting you, Libra, in the month of June 2019 as far as love and romance goes. Maybe they've seen something. Um, and then with the snake here, um, there's possibly a Gemini involved here. I do see a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of... Um, Three of Swords energy here, so maybe somebody's just not trusting you. Maybe you stopped behaving the way that you were, but they still don't trust you. It's gonna, you know, when people do terrible things, it takes a it takes a while for people to start trusting again. So just understand that it, it's not gonna be an overnight thing. Now I do see with the Seven of Cups here and the Five of Pentacles here, I do feel like there will be reconciliations in June 2019, possibly with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um. I feel like with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, I feel like they have a lot of options romantically, and that could bother you. Also, they may have a job that kind of makes you feel a little insecure, whatever their job is, um, but it does look like there will be a reconciliation. As far as with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy I'm seeing here, you guys could possibly be married, but maybe there's fights over money or fights over cheating. There's something that somebody's not satisfied with within the relationship. I also feel like uh, some of you may have suffered a loss, so it could have been a loss of a child, but you guys are trying to work this out. Um, do you see how like the blood is spilled here? So this could be somebody passed away, possibly something that has to do with your relationship, possibly a child, possibly somebody's mother or father. Um, but Libra, it looks like things will work out for the best. Um, and if you were wondering whether or not you should reconcile with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, it's saying that you will reconcile with them, and you should reconcile with them. And this connection of this uh, loss might have to do with a with a Libra and a fire sign, Sagittarius, or Aries connection. But either way, you two are meant to be together, showing even if you are having um, some growing pains or some issues. Give him back his blanket. There's a little tiny square of a blanket. It's a baby blanket from when the baby was a newborn, it's his blankie. So he calls it his nine night So big brother likes to take his nine night away and then baby brother has a fit. So nobody's being beaten. It's just somebody's nine night is being taken. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, I do see with the nine of swords here and the hermit card here, 
some of you have a fellow air sign coming in, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or a Virgo, or maybe both. It looks like a, whoever these people are, or if it's one person with the same negative energy, um, they got something to hide. They got other stuff to hide, bigger fish to fry. There's a, there's a reason. So maybe somebody was like, hey, go talk to this person. I want to I want to see what, what, how they'll react to you. I want to see like how they are. Um, so somebody could be hitting on you, only hoping to see maybe if you do it on the first night. Or hoping to see, you know, would you really snort coke? Or would you really do this? Or would you really cheat on this person? So there's some sort of a setup going on towards the end of June 2019 as far as love and romance goes. This is in a love and romance kind of way. So somebody might want to see what kind of a romantic partner you would be with, or this is your current partner or an ex-partner trying to figure out what you're doing. If there's custody battles involved at all whatsoever, you probably don't want to take the bait on this one because you could get yourself in a lot of trouble. Um, there could definitely be some losses here. Okay, guys, as far as Libra goes, I feel like the energy for the month of June 2019 is many of you Libras do, are not looking for love. I feel like... Even though this is a love reading, I feel like your mind is mostly on stability, foundations, and money. I don't see that it's like really about love and romance. And am I going to find the soulmate? Doesn't mean that there aren't any Libras looking for a soulmate. But it's just showing here for the most part the collective energy is showing that Libra is kind of just looking for stability and money. Financial security, a good job, a raise, anything that has to do with a come up or, getting, or, their, or their lifestyle getting better is what this is showing. Somebody just wants independence to be free. So like, let's say you're, you're married to a Libra or you're married to any, like a Libra, let's say you're married or you're in a partnership that's, that would be considered like a marriage. Um, I see that maybe some of you don't want to leave your partner, but you do want to have financial security. You would, the relationship would be smoother if, if you felt like financially you were successful. So maybe some of you get angry with your partner or you have no interest in your, part, in your partner. You lash out at your partner. It's because you feel like you're stuck financially and it's kind of making you lash out. Even though this has nothing to do with your partner, you're still kind of taking it out on them. So I, I feel like maybe you should focus on your finances. If that, if that means that you'll be a better partner to your partner, definitely focus on your finances. Because that's going to be a big issue moving forward. And you don't want someone to leave you and then you get your finances in check and you're like, well, where are they now? I love them. You know, there, there's just so much somebody can take as far as like, you know, verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, whatever the abuse is. You know, just so much someone can take. So try to be nice. All right, guys, that was your, um, your June 2019 loves uh, spread, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.